Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sayukian. Charles Oliveira, 34 wins and 9 losses. 4-1 in, in his last 5 fights. The 1 loss, of course, a year and a half ago was to the champion, Islam Makachev. Was supposed to fight him again. That's where Alexander Volkanovsky came in for the rematch and was finished. Um, he did come back and fight Benil Darius and finished. My boy Benny, plus 185 underdog, which I seems I think is nuts. 2-1 to one underdog. Uh, or, I mean... Armin's a two to one favorite. 34 years old, 5'10 with a 74 inch reach. Fighting Armin Suyukin, he's 21 and 3, 4 in 1 in his last five fights. The one loss, as we know. Matthias Gamrot in his last five fights, of course, the one loss. He also has another loss against Islam Makachev. Very competitive fight. I do want to see that fight one day. But again, Armin's 27. He's 5'7 with a 72 and a half inch reach. Inch and a half reach advantage for Oliveira, three inches taller the problem i again i do want to see armin fight islam but i want to see him fight islam after charles Oliveira gets his rematch i just think if a motivated determined Oliveira is there and is ready to fight and go through war no one beats him nobody nobody let me tell you no one. I like Oliveira. His striking is incredible. It's it's t it's precise. It's technical. It's powerful. His submissions are second to none. That's why he's the leader. If he's not motivated, we're going to see a very, very bad fight. Because Armin's going to be at him. And he's never going to stop. Especially if he's grappling. Especially if Oliveira doesn't respect it enough and take that part serious i don't necessarily want to see Oliver be jumping submissions but again if he does he's probably got something and if he has something <sighs> i like charles Oliveira by finish ko tko or submission let's go Oliveira. let's go do bronx let's get that belt back and as always subscribe like comment you guys know what it is peace